It's finally time for me to build a spring and summer capsule wardrobe. This is gonna be my first six month capsule wardrobe and I'm a little bit nervous but mostly excited because I don't know what to expect. I'm so used to doing the three month capsule wardrobe. Honestly, I'm not sure what's gonna happen but that's the beauty of experimenting and just having fun. So first I'm gonna show you my current wardrobe and then we're gonna do the switch over. What you see in front of you is actually my winter capsule wardrobe with a few of spring items because the weather is getting warm so I had to pull some things out of the storage like this jacket or this stunning little colors This is everything that I had in storage But as you can see there are loads of winter jumpers and items all of that also for my bottoms This is what I have so far and at first I was thinking that I'm gonna do the switch over 15th of April in the middle right in the middle, but honestly, it's getting so so warmer I'm gonna just do it a week earlier As always, I'm gonna take every single item out of my capsule wardrobe. Then I'm also gonna empty the storage because I'm gonna put everything that I own on my bed. So it makes the process just a little bit easier. Then because I don't have the thick winter jumpers anymore, I can also readjust the shelf. And lastly, I'm gonna clean absolutely everything because I wanna have a clean surface when I put everything back in. also been putting all of my hangers aside for this project so now I'm gonna need them because I'm gonna need a lot more items for six month capsule wardrobe that I needed for a three month one so these are all of my extra hangers that I'm gonna probably use today now that my wardrobe is clean and I have my extra hangers we're gonna do the process as always first I'm gonna go through my items that I had in my winter capsule wardrobe to see if I want to keep anything and then we're gonna go through the story first item is this nice little sheer button-up that I usually wear with cami underneath and this is more of a fall and winter piece for me so it's going into storage the same goes for this turtleneck it's gonna be too warm for turtlenecks then I have this jumper dress that I'm not sure if it's gonna be too warm or if I can still make it work because even though it's a jumper dress you know it's off shoulder and I can wear it without any tights maybe in the summer with high heels so for now I'm just gonna put it in actually I can always declutter it later if I don't need it then my white button-up is a staple the entire year. This one is obviously staying. Then I have a white long sleeve tee that it's a perfect spring piece. So obviously I'm gonna keep it. Then we have another turtleneck. This one I'm gonna be putting in storage. This jumper, again, it's too warm. I'm gonna put it in storage. This one, even though it's kind of a lace top, I usually wear it with cami underneath and for me it's a fall and winter piece so I'm gonna put it in storage. But then this item, this new addition that I just love so much, this one is gonna be staying. It's just such a lovely color for spring, I love it. And then I have a denim jacket that I took out of the storage just last week that it's obviously gonna be staying. It's perfect for spring and summer. Then another warm dress. This one is very thick and it's gonna go into storage. But then I have thin jumpers that are perfect for spring. This one is an orange one that I'm gonna be keeping. Then I also have a coral button-up that again, I took out of the storage not too long ago. Perfect for spring and summer, it's such a lovely color. And then I also have the pink Leo jumper that it's very thin that I'm gonna wear in spring as well. But then my red turtleneck, it's not the right color for spring and summer for me. And it's also just a little bit too warm. The same goes for my purple turtleneck, just a little bit too warm. Ooh, I have some empty hangers here. <laughs> and lastly, I have the check turtleneck that again, it's gonna be too warm for spring and summer. And now here I have a cashmere turtleneck with short sleeves that I'm not sure if it's a winter or fall piece or spring and summer. I'm gonna put it in because like I said in the beginning, I'm not sure what I need for a six month capsule wardrobe. So I'm just gonna go with my gut and whatever happens, happens. And I also have this gorgeous black silk sheer button up that I'm not sure if I should put in storage or not. This is usually my transitional item in the spring and in the fall, but at the same time I can layer it. You know, I'm gonna keep it for now. I think. I can experiment with it. But then I also have this normal black silk button-up that it's gonna be staying 100%. 
I love this one in the spring and also in the summer. Now I have another jumper. This one is off shoulder that it's gonna be too warm for spring and summer. I have just a crew neck jumper that again, it's gonna be too warm. I have a black turtleneck, too warm for spring and summer. And now for some dresses. Here I have a nice little bodycon dress that it's very fitted, it's very nice for maybe colder days or you know in the evening for a date night, something like that. So this one I'm gonna be keeping. And lastly, I have a black long, long cardigan that it's gonna be staying. I love this one the entire year. And now we have some storage items, which probably most of them are gonna go in my wardrobe. All of my summer dresses are obviously going in because, you know, we're getting ready for summer and I'm so excited. I already cannot wait to wear this dress. It's such a nice, gorgeous color. I love it. Then I have this nice little top. This one is an orange off-shoulder top. I love wearing this one too. I love the color. I love the fit. Then another summer dress. This one is a pink cami dress that is so gorgeous. Yesterday when I was falling asleep, I was actually doing the wardrobe in my head because I was getting so excited. I was like, I cannot wait to do this. And maybe you can tell how excited I am. <laughs> it's going right here. I'm already color coordinating as I go. Then I have this nice little gorgeous crop top beige crop top and i actually have a black one on my wish list to add it to my spring and summer capsule wardrobe as well but currently i didn't find anything quite yet then we have another nice spring and summer top in the past i would put this one in my summer capsule wardrobe only for three months and because in the summer is so hot i could only wear this one with maybe a skirt and shorts and that's it but now that i'm putting this item in my spring capsule as well i can wear it with my jeans maybe with my other pants with my crop joggers with my boots with my sneakers all of that fun stuff so that's why i'm so excited about this you know project the same goes for this top this would just usually be my summer top only for three months but now i can wear it with my jeans i can wear it tomorrow if i want to <laughs> and now to some nice basics that i bought I think at the end of the fall or at the end of the summer, I think. So I didn't wear these items a lot, but here I have my white bodysuit that is so gorgeous and I cannot wait to wear it. Then I also just have this, it's an off-white top, the same as the black one that I'm wearing today in a different color, perfect for layering. And now to one of my oldest pieces in my wardrobe. I think I told you that I bought this one, I don't know, nine years ago, 10 years ago. It's just, I love it so much. I actually bought it in Miami, but it's just such a staple and it's just such a nice color. Now for my summer dresses. First I have this gorgeous little off-shoulder dress that I love so much. This one again, it's, I don't know, seven years old. It's a really, really old dress, but I just love it so much. Then this dress you've seen me buy. This one is an off-shoulder floral summer dress. Oh my God, I love summer so, so much. It's my favorite season. Then another really old dress. This one is a bodycon floral dress. As you can see, I have a type. I really, really like florals in the summer, obviously. And another floral dress, but this one is actually a maxi dress. Look at this, the colors. Oh, I love it. I'm getting so, so excited. I have to contain myself. But do let me know which season is your favorite. I've heard some people say that they love the fall the most or the winter, which for me, it's so surprising because, you know, I love summer so much and most people around me love summer most. But do let me know which season is your favorite. Continuing with the dresses, here is another storage pile and another flowery dress. This one you've seen me wear a thousand times. I love it. It's perfect for spring and summer because it's just a little bit longer and a little bit more layered. And I must admit <laughs> that as I'm going through this, there are some items that I forgot that I had. And that gets me so excited because I still love them, but just because I had them in storage for such a long time, I forgot about them. And that's why I love the wardrobe switchover because you don't need to shop that much because when you do a switchover, you almost feel like you have a new wardrobe and you get that, you know, dopamine hit all over again, in a way. <laughs> what I'm putting on the hanger is just a cropped little denim jacket. This one is just a little bit more fitted than this one. Then I also have this one that I cropped and I'm so excited to wear it. I think I'm gonna wear it loads more now that it's cropped. Even at the end of the summer, I wore it more because I cropped it because it's just so much more flattering and more practical. Now for some basics, I have this black t-shirt with really fun sleeves, perfect for layering, perfect for, you know, monochrome outfits. Then I have another bodysuit that I bought last year. This one is in a black color. Then I have another t-shirt. <laughs> this one has really unique sleeves 
And again, perfect for spring and summer, perfect for layering. Another staple, another basic. So this one is a black cami, silk cami. It's perfect for those days when it's really, really hot and boiling outside. Oh, <laughs> this one I forgot that I had, even though it was my favorite piece of the summer last year. <laughs> Oopsie. This one is a holder top, but it's cropped. It's just a little bit washed out. It's just a little bit on its last legs, but for this season, it's still gonna do. And I'm so excited to wear it again. Now I have this dress as well. This one is a black bodycon dress with really nice sleeves. I can show you. And it's gonna be perfect for spring. It's gonna be perfect for summer, for a date night look, something like that. Then I have another item I forgot about. I don't know, usually I remember all of my items, but this time around, everything is a bit of a surprise for me. This one is a black bodycon dress without any sleeves and it's easy to layer. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. I love it. Now this one, I know that I had in my storage because I already wanted to wear it. And it's just a cami dress, a black, makes it dress that it's really long but i think i'm gonna store it like this so it doesn't stretch out and then another summer dress this one is so old <laughs> it's a navy dress flare dress that it's stunning i feel like a princess when i wear this dress as you can see my closet is much fuller than usual which it's kind of a good thing but maybe it can be a little bit overwhelming i'm not used to having a closet full like this but okay we're gonna see how it's gonna work out maybe i'm gonna love a six month capsule but maybe i won't so the tops and dresses are officially done but now let's go through the bottoms first i have the white denim shorts that i love they're perfect for spring and summer that i'm gonna put in then i also have a black pair that i had in my fall and winter capsule but i love this in the summer and spring as well they're the same as the white one just in a different color and then i also have just the regular denim shorts like this again i usually just wear this in the summer for three months only but now i'm gonna have them for a little bit longer so i'm gonna see if i can create some new outfit combinations with this now for my jeans i have this item that honestly i don't really love this wash in the spring and summer for me this is a fall and winter color so i'm just gonna put it in storage because i'm not really feeling them and now for this pants what should i do with them this were usually in my fall and winter capsule in the summer i didn't have them in my wardrobe because they're just a little bit too thick but they are a really nice spring piece so i'm thinking that maybe i can still keep them and maybe wear them with some summer tops that i didn't have in my wardrobe before because like i said now i have different options available so i can create different outfit combinations now for my skirts i have a black mini skirt this one is a staple the entire year my faux leather skirt i don't really vibe with it for spring and summer it's not really a nice piece for me and i think these are my skirts done i also have a denim skirt that i wore last week in the wash that's something that i'm also gonna add to my spring and summer cap so wardrobe even though i don't have it with me then for my jeans i have my medium wash jeans this is the wash that i love in the spring and summer that i'm gonna be keeping obviously my white jeans are gonna be staying as well these are a staple in spring and summer i love them then i have faux leather pants which again <laughs> these are too warm they are fleeced inside and also the vibe is just not a spring and summer vibe so and then for some other pants that i have these are really high-waisted and i'm gonna keep them they're really light and breezy so even in the summer in the night i can easily wear them and then something that i just missed so much now that the weather is getting warmer my black cropped joggers that are perfect to wear with sneakers with sandals in so many different ways they're so comfortable so versatile i love this and then i think the last piece that i have here are my white pants these are again perfect to wear with white sneakers and i'm not sure if i should keep them i will keep them because i can create some summer combinations with maybe some of my crop t-shirts something like this i can create nice combinations i also remembered i have some items in storage some of these are my husband's items so i'm just gonna put them aside and maybe in next week i can do my husband's capsule workshop but for me these are the items in my time will tab box that i actually want to take out and put in my wardrobe so i have the coral blazer it's gonna just have this old button up that i'm keeping for size reference nothing else this one is actually kind of decluttered but then these items i forgot about them just a little bit so let me see what i have here is 
every single last item that I have along with my hangers. These hangers I took off my winter items that I put in storage. So this is something that I'm definitely gonna need because like I said, these are all of my time will tell items that I wanna go through and see how I feel about them now. First, I have this black halter top that's it's actually really nice, but the reason I put it in my time will tell box is because I have to have a strapless bra and then it's not the most comfortable. But then at the same time, because my other halter top, maybe you can see this one is really washed out. I don't wanna declutter this one because once this one is gonna get ruined, I'm gonna, you know, wear this one a lot more. Then I have this item that actually wasn't in my Tom Hotel box. I just completely missed it. That is definitely going into my wardrobe. This one is a white crop t-shirt and I'm so excited. This is gonna be so versatile. In the summer when it's hot, I hate stuffing things into my jeans, into my shorts, into my skirts, anything. So having crop tops is actually such a nice little option and I have a brand new top for me it feels like brand new because I cropped it but then I also have just a normal long white t-shirt that I didn't crop and for now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in my wardrobe to see how much I reach for it do I need to have a long t-shirt or potentially can I crop this one and have two crop t-shirts because I know that I wear crop t-shirts a lot but just a normal regular t-shirt you know, I'm gonna see how I feel about it now in the spring and in the summer. Then I have this nice little pink cami that I actually really like, but the sizing, I'm just not sure around the chest area if it's just a little bit too tight. But now that my weight is stabilizing just a little bit, I'm gonna put it in my wardrobe. And for these time hotel items, this is actually my trial period with them. I'm gonna have them in a wardrobe and if I reach for them, love them, I'm gonna keep them. If not, I'm gonna declutter them. The same goes for this dress. <laughs> I'm not sure what bothers me about this dress, if it's so fitted and the fact that it's not the most comfortable or is it the color that washes me out? I'm not sure. But like I said with my other pieces, I'm gonna put it in my wardrobe. I'm gonna, you know, make a commitment to wear it at least once or twice and then I'm gonna keep it or declutter it. And then the same goes for these jeans that honestly I've just been putting in storage every single time I'm building my capsule wardrobe. You probably remember them. I don't think I wore them in the last two and a half years. So I'm gonna put it in my spring and summer wardrobe for the last time. If I wear them, if I love them, I'm gonna keep them. Otherwise, I'm gonna be decluttering them because I had enough. <laughs> I'm not just gonna keep putting stuff in storage. And then this is probably the only time will tell item that I'm actually really excited to see. And it's my coral blazer that honestly, it's not gonna go anywhere, but I'm not gonna put it in here because I keep my blazers in the hallway downstairs, which I'm actually gonna do tomorrow because I really wanted to take my time to build my main wardrobe first. So this one is staying, I'm gonna tackle it tomorrow. These are all of the hangers that are left. I only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hangers left, okay? No, actually I have less. Because I need two hangers for the items that I'm wearing today, this one is a black short cardigan that I'm gonna be keeping. I also have a black cami that I'm gonna be keeping and just black jeans that I'm also gonna be keeping. I dress accordingly, so actually I have five hangers left. <laughs> I'm also just realizing that maybe I should put my denim jackets downstairs because they're more of a jacket than an indoor piece for me. Here I wanna have indoor pieces only. This one I also think I'm just gonna put it downstairs and maybe I can do the same with this jacket even though it's very comfortable. For me this is both indoor jacket and outdoor jacket because it's so comfortable but I'm not sure where should I keep it. What I decided to do I'm gonna keep it in here until it gets very very hot and then I'm gonna put it downstairs with my jacket. I just counted everything and I actually have 43 hangers which is a lot more than usual I believe usually I have around 30 items I believe so this is a lot more but honestly that's the experiment I'm gonna see how I feel about it and I'm also gonna track what I reach for to see what I can learn from everything and this is actually really really fun for me I feel like a guinea pig in a good way <laughs> then for my bottoms this is 
very very minimal I don't have to have a huge variety with my bottoms but I have a space here for my black jeans that I'm wearing today and also we have a space here for the denim skirt but that's pretty much it and then also I wanted to show you the underwear drawer because this is something that I want to tackle in my next vlog otherwise this video is gonna be far too long so stay tuned for that and then also I want to switch out my sport capsule wardrobe there are a few items that I want to add and few items that I want to put in storage so stay tuned for that in the next video and now for the quick outfit of the day you've seen the inner layer already so I'm wearing everything black and then for my outerwear I have my black trench coat that is so so nice and it's especially practical and it's not very very cold outside I also have my sunnies and a lot of silver jewelry earrings necklaces all of that for my shoes I have my white sneakers which are a staple in my spring capsule wardrobe and then I also have the Nuf mini because it looks so so nice next to the black items next to the white sneakers. I personally think this is such a nice minimal look. I love it. Now it's the next day and I'm gonna just repeat the process. I'm gonna take everything out of storage, all of my hangers, jackets, blazer, hats, shoes, accessories, everything that I might need. I will take it downstairs and then I'm gonna transform the downstairs closet. I just put everything on the bench and all of the shoes in here because I want to have easy access when I reorganize this closet. As you can see, I have loads of really warm wintery coats. These are all mine. This is my husband's, which also I'm gonna put in storage. He doesn't really need it anymore. So this is the coat section. Then for my handbags, they're just a little bit unorganized and I'm gonna tackle those as well. I also have this little drawer full of my scars, my husband's scars, the gloves but honestly I'm still debating if I want to change anything or if I just want to keep it like this and then lastly for my shoes my first little shelf I have all of my sneakers in here the two pairs here are missing because they're out there because I use them very recently and then the top shelf is full of boots which we're definitely gonna put in storage so that's what we're tackling today jackets and blazers in here and now let me show you what I'm gonna keep for spring and summer the first one is my black trench coat that I was wearing yesterday this one is amazing for the spring now usually I just have this one in the fall and in the spring and then in the summer I put it in storage but for this time around I'm gonna keep it out and I'm gonna see if I can wear it with maybe my summer dresses or something like that and now for all of my blazers the first one that I have is my white blazer without any noticeable buttons that it's so versatile and I can wear it with any kind of metal I miss this one so much it's gonna be so so lovely then we have the coral blazer that I had in storage and this one is just a little bit wrinkly oopsie this is actually a really really stunning piece that I miss so much it has gold details but that's not a problem because in the spring and in the summer I wear loads of gold and then I also have two black blazers because the first one has silver buttons because I personally love the buttons on the blazer. They really add a nice little interest to the outfit. So that's why I have two options. This one is silver, like I said, and it's such a stunning piece. Again, I cannot wait to wear this one. And then I also have the black blazer with gold buttons. This one is just a little bit thinner and it's very comfortable to wear. And the reason I actually keep this downstairs is because I use them as a jacket in the spring, also in the summer. I personally don't love wearing blazers indoor because they can be a bit restrictive, but as a jacket, they're perfect. Now to my denim jacket, which you've seen already. The first one is the oversized, I mean, it's not oversized, it's just slightly larger size that it's perfect to wear over my jumpers or any top that has long sleeves, really. And then we also have the cropped version that it's a little bit more fitted with this one I cannot have any layers under the sleeves this one has a very specific purpose 
And then the last piece that I have is my faux leather jacket that it's actually kind of a blazer look it's not your typical leather jacket it's just a little bit more polished I can already imagine what kind of outfits I can create I'm also debating if I want to keep the pink jacket out or if I want to put it in storage I'm gonna put it in this section for just a couple more weeks and then I'm gonna put it in storage because for the whole summer you know I don't really need it but I'm gonna have it for just a little bit longer and lastly I have this one that you've seen before I'm just gonna zip it it's my black vest with a nice little hoodie that is perfect for spring and summer. And then I also have just a little vest for my husband. I think this is the only piece he's gonna keep. He's very minimal. Now that the jackets are done, I can finally tackle the handbags and I can clean the wardrobe and then put back only the items that I see myself using in the next six months. The same goes for my shoes. I'm gonna completely empty the shelves and then I'm gonna dust and clean because honestly, I didn't do this for a while and this closet desperately needed it. And then I also decided to at least try and tackle the little drawer because having scarves and gloves in here, it doesn't make sense for the summer and I want to have the wardrobe that feels like spring and summer to me. So I put a few summery things in here and I did my best to organize everything. And this is the final result. In total, I have four different blazers. I have two denim jackets, I have one vest and one faux leather jacket. And this looks so, so nice. I also have loads of space at the bottom. Then for my handbags, I decided to keep seven handbags. So I have two colors up top, then two neutrals and the three black handbags. Right here, I have my summer Leo hat that is perfect for this space. And then in this section, I decided to create a summer drawer for the first time. So here is my summer beach bag. This is my laptop, so it's very easy to access. And then in here, I have a sporty hat for the sun. Then I also put all of my SPF products in here. I have the Leo SPF for the face. I have the Leo hydrating mist for the face if I need to, and then the body SPF. If you're going outside for a walk or something, I can quickly apply it. Then here I have my normal sunglasses, here I have prescription sunglasses, and in this little section is the spot for my vlogging camera that I'm using right now. But you can just imagine a little camera right here. And I'm so happy with this drawer. It just makes so much more sense for the summer. I love it. Now for the shoes, the first shelf is pretty much the same. I have all of my sneakers in here, but then the top shelf is completely different and this is what I decided to keep I have only one pair of booties these are full leather ankle booties with a little bit of heel they're very comfortable and they're gonna be perfect for the transitional season but also for the summer then I have loads of wedges I have nude heels and then all of these different sandals it's actually very weird to me that I have sandals for the spring because usually I just have this for the summer month so I'm gonna see how I'm gonna wear them I cannot wait then for my flip-flops I decided to put them outside because I wear them all of the time to the garden to take the dog out so it's perfect to have them in here and then also I want to show you the other summer straw hat this one is the black color and I just decided to keep it in here and I can easily switch with the other one so so whichever I'm wearing I'm gonna keep it up here because I think it looks super pretty and then these are the shoes I'm gonna put in storage I have the snow boots Ugg boots and three pair of over the knee boots and in here this is the handbag I'm gonna put in storage because the color is very a fall and winter color for me I don't really think I'm gonna miss it then I also have earmuffs I'm gonna put in storage and my black wool hat that of course I'm not gonna need in the spring and summer and now for the quick outfit of the day but before I show you everything if you enjoyed this video I would really really appreciate thumbs up so please like this video if you enjoyed it and now for what I'm wearing you probably have seen that I'm wearing my spring 
denim jacket that I cropped that I love so much. I also have a white cami underneath. This is the same one as the black one yesterday and it's perfect for layering. I have the new gold earrings that are so gorgeous. I also have a dainty little gold necklace. I have a gold watch and also a gold bracelet. I have my sunglasses because it's sunny again today. And then I also have my cropped black joggers with my white sneakers which are so so comfortable and I honestly miss wearing this. And then and last little detail is my stunning pink handbag with cool details that I've just been wearing so much lately. This is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it and thank you for watching. I will see you next time.